Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel here in the American Truck Simulator. Uh, just coming out on Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. We are taking Valentine's Day presents here today. I don't remember. I think we're going to Houston or something like that. We're in cur cur currently in Corpus Christi. So um, really just midweek and just a channel update kind of video coming out. So I figured, you know, we do a lot of trucking around here, so... Uh, let's get into some trucking. So let's get this, let's get the truck fired up. And uh, we, you know, we got the more freedom trucking skin on as always for our convoy nights, uh, which are on Mondays. So if you are interested in that, we convoy on Mondays over on Twitch. So make sure you stop by and watch. But let's get out on the road here and get things going and whatnots and so forth and we'll chit chat on the way we've got i don't know 280 miles to go and probably a short time to get there because i advanced the time to 8 a.m so i just didn't want to drive at night and so you know just advance the time to 8 a.m it's fine We're rocking the 1,000 horsepower engine today here in the Peterbilt. That's what we normally run when we do convoy night is the 1,000 horsepower engine. Thanks, Hal. All right. That's good. Let's rock and roll. All right. Get out here on the highway. Yeah. I don't need to turn left here. Stay on the left side. And then turn left right up here. Roger Dodger, dude. Probably in the intersection a little bit. Let's pull up some. Hopefully everybody is having a wonderful day here. On well, this fantastic Wednesday, probably. Listen, the video's coming out on Wednesday. I'm... <laughs> I didn't record this on Valentine's Day. So... Not that I'm going anywhere for Valentine's Day. But... You know, work and whatnot during the day so spend my time on Saturdays and Sundays trying to record videos for YouTube and spend a few hours on Saturdays and Sundays doing that and when I can which we'll get into and when I well I, we can get into all that right now so work has just been for me you know a lot of work in the last year and lots of changes at work lots more i wouldn't even say responsibilities as much as it's the same response well sort of more responsibilities but a lot more work and whatnot so and i've said this before when it, on several videos that it just a lot of times for me because i you know seven to three thirty every day i work in it it just gets to the point where I get done with work and I just turn my computer off and I just don't do anything with it, you know, until I stream at night and then, you know, seven to 10, I'm on Tuesdays, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Yes. Oh, this is like, like that bridge to nowhere or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah. So since work has been such, uh, for the lack of a better term, pain in the ass for the last year and a half, it's, you know, exhausting is really what it is. And I get done with work. I just turn off the computer and I don't really, because I work from home, so I don't really want to, I don't really want to be on the computer. Stay right. Stay right. Roger. Right. Right up here. This is locked at 65, by the way. Locked at 65 on this year job. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, it's in the last year, except for the More Freedom series, you'll have noticed that I don't always post on my regularly, regularly scheduled days that I schedule for myself, you know, Mondays and Fridays. And I try to get out at least one video a week, and it sometimes it is mentally difficult to do so. And not because that doing the videos is hard, and it's not extremely hard work. Oh, look, there's the, I think that's the Yorktown. Uh, not that all of doing the videos and everything like that is this huge undertaking for me. It's just mental exhaustion from the week, and I just don't feel like it. So, that's pretty much, oh, the Lexington, sorry. Sorry. I'm not Canadian. Um... The Lex, the Lexington is over there. I was—I don't know why I thought it was the Yorktown, but anyway. So that's that's why, like, for instance, this past week it was so I had jury duty on Monday, actually Friday, last Friday, and then Monday, and the whole ordeal, the trial was postponed. I don't have to go back, thankfully, but. When I came back, they had assigned me, you know, 18 tickets while I was gone for two days. And so I had to catch up all that work over the course of the next four days, plus what I had from last week that was still hanging around. So I had roughly 30 tickets that I had to work on this week and fit all of that and try to fit all of that into four days. And, and then plus, you know, getting more tickets per day. So it was a lot this week, and I definitely missed my Friday upload, but I brought it in on Saturday. So, which brings me to the uploads and whatnots. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying the more, the more Freedom Game Studios. That, to me, the... Uh, I, I saw... So I saw Colonel Failure playing that game and I was like oh I really want to get it and then it was on sale and I decided to just pull the trigger on it and buy it and it has been so much fun I don't know maybe because I'm nerdy IT kind of guy but it's been a lot of fun just doing all the designing of games and whatnot and I've been playing it on <laughs> I have a non- recording company so pirate studios <laughs> it's been a lot of fun like i have two companies going and i've been learning a lot in it and so if if you're interested in in the mad games tycoon 2 i re highly recommend picking it up and you know go over and watch the colonel failure videos on it on his vuvu boys and it's just a lot of it's a lot of fun you know creativity whatnot and uh so yes so those videos will continue for the 10 video series that i'm going to try to do which are almost done being recorded so next week we'll finish out those 10 videos and we'll kind of put it on hold for just a moment um because there's there's a lot of things what, am I turning left? Okay. Oh, we're, we're never getting through this light. Um, so, ten videos for that series. And then coming up, starting February 27th, which will be uh, IROC. The first IROC series race will be coming out on February 27th. And I'm hoping... So, that's like three weeks... Yeah. So three weeks for the first race video of this year, which will be the IROC series at Daytona. And then, so we've got IROC series on the 27th, and then that Friday, which I think is like March 1st or 2nd or something like that, uh, will be the Daytona, I think it's the Daytona 100, the first More Freedom series, the official first More Freedom series race of the year. So about two and a half, or well, basically, what, one, two, three weeks for the More Freedom Series. So two to three weeks for the More Freedom Series. And all the racing will start. And that will be 
Um, the More Freedom series itself will be 37 weeks, with the halfway point will be at North Wilkesboro, starting at Daytona, halfway all-star race at North Wilkesboro, and then we'll finish out in November with uh, the final race of the year, which will be Talladega. So 36 weeks of that, and I'm really looking forward to it. We've got some good-looking cars this year, uh, a few new people few new people in the series some of the old familiar names will be there and some of the old familiar names won't be there so get it in gear here so we, I think we have either 28 to 32 drivers this season so, yeah, few familiar, few new names. Some people didn't re-sign up for this year, but, hey, it's going to be an amazing season either way. Some changes coming to that, which will be, and there'll be a, we will have a season preview video coming out, provided I can get all the cars painted before, before I need to release the season preview video. Uh, JTM. My brother is helping me paint cars again this year, and luckily, a lot of people didn't. Um, about half the people didn't get new liveries for this season. So we got about half the cars to paint or so, and the ones that I painted and he's painted so far have just turned out awesome. So I'm very happy about that. I think I'm going straight here anyway. I'm glad that was a green light. So yeah, that's what's coming up for the More Freedom series. And so the changes that are coming up will be that last year we ran into a lot of issues with drivers. And I, I will say that there was, at the end of the year, what cost Nico the race season, like the championship, was damage under caution and damage in the pits. So he got rear-ended. I believe he got rear-ended under caution, and it ended up destroying his engine. And it's something that normally wouldn't happen in real life. And I, I granted it's a video game and all that stuff, but so the changes that are, that are happening is, is I've been doing. I, I found a mod that will allow me to do double file like current racing double file restarts so they normally go with a double file restart in like almost every form of motorsports now so we'll have double file restarts all the lap cars will go to the back of the pack this year so no lap cars down to the inside of the leader so they'll all be at the back um no collisions under caution and no collisions in the pits. So there was a lot of people who got their race ruined this past season by having collisions in the pits. And not just ruined, like the leaders come into the pits and there's a collision and it takes them out of the race, basically. They go a lap down or they're on the tail end of the lead lap or whatever. So hopefully this mod will allow me to get rid of all of that and we'll see how it goes. Um, another thing will be, I'll be able to, for those times where, for instance, there's a caution and the pace car isn't, like, the pace car is not going fast enough. And there'll be times where the, uh, you, some of the drivers pass the pace car getting into the pits. And so what happens is, is that they technically enter a closed pit, and so they get black flagged for it. So, yeah. 
instead of that happening this year, it will be a I, I've got a, a way to clear the black flag. So it'll be a little editing on my part because I have to type in some keyboard commands for it. But so we'll be able to clear black flags. And then the other big deal will be we are able to give laps back. So we as in me. So if you are the first car a lap down, you will get your lap back at the start of the green flag after a caution. So it's what in NASCAR they would call the lucky dog. So it used to be in NASCAR, and it is that way in the game right now where they race back to the caution. And what would happen is, is that anybody that was a lap down, the leaders would slow and the lap cars would just speed past them as fast as they could. And I don't know if there was like an incident. I, I recall there's a, I think there was an incident in which somebody wrecked trying to get back and get their lap back. And so NASCAR just with no more racing back to the caution. Um, f they froze the field and <laughs> then oh, stupid rumble strips. Um, they came up with the lucky dog, but it was sponsored by Aaron errands and so they'd be like the errands lucky dog because their mascot was a dog so we'll have the quote unquote lucky dog and whoever that is will get their lap back and so they'll be if they if we have a lap car lap down they get a lap back and that you know could put them back in the race they could end up winning so that'll be once we go back to green that'll happen so that's some of the things that are happening for the more freedom series uh, again 37 weeks of racing for the regular season and eight weeks for the irock series and the irock series will be a little bit different than it was last year i think i picked so last season i want to say it was everybody that won a race in the previous season which ended up being like 11 people well, there was a lot more than 11 people that won races last season. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the current top 10 in overall points, combined points from all the seasons that they have raced. And so, for instance, G3, who won championship last year, has five overall wins. She'll be in it. King of the Aces, Nico, all be in it. They're past champions. And any any current driver who is in top 10 current drivers. So if somebody, for instance, is not in the season this year and they were in the top 10 in points, they won't be in the IROC series. So uh, that's, that's how the IROC series will work. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, as always. And one of the other things that will be what I will be doing and possibly JTM is we're going to be fixing track lines. And so to help with that part where people um, run into pit road wall. So we're going to try to fix those track lines to help eliminate the veteran chaos effect where they run into the end of pit road wall. So... Uh, a lot of changes for the tracks and whatnot and, you know, drivers moving around. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of fun, I think. So hopefully you tune in for all those races. And uh, so the other stuff, the other stuff that I'll be doing on the channel will be, I mean, besides racing, I'm going to try to continue with dependent upon what, se what, what I want to do with the series. I'm going to try to continue on with the More Freedom Game Studios and because I feel like finishing it at 10 at least at the 10th would be just kind of like a travesty for that. And I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out if I how I want to finish that. But we'll have Mad Games Tycoon 2. We'll have eight. And this is over this year, not like this month. Mad Games Tycoon 2. Probably some ATS, probably some Transport Fever 2, um, just off the top of my head. And several simulate like simulation games. Get back into the building and simulation games. I don't know how much people like them. I like them. I guess that's what matters, right? Hit my microphone. I'm in the left lane. 
It's fine. Just gonna listen to whatever Hal told me just then. I, I can't. Did he tell me to turn? Because I'm pretty sure I can't turn there. So, simulation games. Also, hopefully, I'm gonna try. So, during on Saturdays and Sundays, Saturday and Sunday evenings, right now, we are doing a racing series. So, on Saturday, we have the More Freedom Sports Car Racing Sports Car Championship, and that is ran in Automo Ballista Two, which is normally referred to as AMS Two. So, we run that series and currently this season we're running minis and trying to just get used to it and so that's ran on Sundays and there'll be videos for racing coming out in Automobilista 2 probably videos in Assetto Corsa Competizione or however it's pronounced which is basically Assetto Corsa 2 and then on oh vote 2024 we've got vote signs up now okay well let's get over we're just gonna send it so we got racing and then we all also have on sundays we had oh there's a i think it's about to rain i was like it just got super dark in the game um, on Sundays we do sauced up and sideways racing, which is uh, the more fun series that we do, and it's so. Sometimes we race in NASCAR Heat Five, and then sometimes we race in AMS Two, or we may do both. I needed to take that. Yeah, I am. We just added however long to our trip here. That spaghetti always gets me. Every single time. Plus, I was talking and not listening to Hal. You know how it be. So, yeah. We've got simulation games. We've got racing games. I guess racing is kind of simulation. And those, that's what will be coming up on the channel this year. And can I get off there? No. I think it's, it's, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. We're just driving across the bay. I wonder how long this is going to be. 62 miles. That's not bad. So yeah, and then, as far as video schedule goes, I'm still going to try to make my Monday, Friday. Definitely Fridays, because that's when the More Freedom series comes out. And dependent upon how busy I am during the week, and whether I decide to turn on my computer hey, right. Hey, right. on the weekends. Dan, get off on the right. uh, dependent upon all of that, right I'm going to try to do... Because I... You know... The More Freedom series is just this series that always runs, right? And I would love to do, besides that, two video, two additional videos a week. And on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so it's just going to be dependent upon work schedule and everything else, how everything goes. And that's being blocked. We're just sending it. So look for look forward to or look for whichever videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday this year. And I'm going to try my best to stick to that schedule. Again, it just all depends on how work goes and how mentally exhausted I am. So... Because again, my my full time job is IT work, and it you know you kind of wish it was video game playing because I could play video games probably all day. 
I mean, I could, but it wouldn't be good for my work. It would fall way behind. But, it, I mean, you, you see what I'm saying. Like, I could play video games all day as a job, but since it doesn't, unfortunately, does not, this doesn't make me, this doesn't make me enough money to, because it only makes me maybe $100 a month. And none of that's from YouTube, because YouTube doesn't have monetization until you hit, you know, certain numbers, which I am not complaining about by any means, because I do a lot of this for fun. So, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to play this game anyway. Why not record it? Why not stream it? So that's my mentality on all of it. So, but anyway, we're coming to the end of the job. And thanks for listening to me. Just yick, yak, yick and yak. What am I? I don't even know what the heck I'm saying. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble on about what's coming up. So hopefully you are excited about this year on the channel. And I'm trying to be super excited about it. And not that I don't want to record videos because I really do. It's just the mental okay, exhaustion right. is, okay, right. is real. So, um, yeah. Look forward to try to be making three videos per week. Ooh, is that NASA? It is NASA. Wait, we are in Houston. Look at that. It's an airplane. Very cool. Oh, true love. I wish I, I wish we could just have the trailers, dude. I should have put on the. I should have put on the uh, hearts Valentine's Day stuff on the cab. Probably do it for the convoy tomorrow. But yeah, that's what I'm saying is, is that hopefully you're looking forward to all the content coming out this year. And I'm looking forward to trying to make all the content this year. And if you're into just shenanigans as far as trucking goes and just having fun uh that's our monday night convoys it's nothing it's this listen this is mostly serious driving right here i know i don't always follow the road rules and it makes it difficult because the speedometer is tiny and so i don't really know how fast i'm going most of the time and I'm more just having fun, and I do follow the road rules in videos, but on Monday nights during the convoys, it's like, how fast can we drop off this load and get the next one? And how many crashes are we going to get into? Excuse me. And they ha we have a lot of other things that we do that is just a lot of fun as part of just streaming the convoys. So... And if you're a longtime viewer of either Twitch or YouTube and you are wanting to join in in our convoys, come into the Discord and introduce yourself and hang out and talk and chat and all that other stuff. That's the, the best way to have everybody get to know you. And it's not just it's not just me, you know, that is in and it's I don't even call it my community. It's just this community of people that, because it encompasses lots of different streamers and people that don't stream and everything else, that they just get together and they play, play games with each other, you know. Just lots of different people in the community that do all of that. And, you know, the best way to become part of one is just to come in and introduce yourself, you know. Don't be shy. I I am. I'm sh I'm actually a shy person. Very introvert for the most part. <laughs> Not as much as I used to be, but I'm introvert. And so it. I remember it took me a while to actually talk in some of the people's chats and all that stuff. And I know, look at me now. I'm ta talking on video and stuff. Okay, right. Okay, right. So okay, don't be afraid to come in. Right and say hi and everything else and hang out especially if you're wanting to play video games with us because we we want to have we want to have people come in we want to have people play and new people and all that stuff and 
you know. And if you're interested in racing, if you're interested in racing and you've watched any of my videos on AMS2 or you're thinking about doing a SETA, Corsa 2, or you're thinking about maybe racing with us on Sauced Up Sideways Sundays in NASCAR Heat, I encourage you to come and hang out and get into the racing. It's a lot of fun. Even when there's controversy, it's still a lot of fun. A lot of me talking today. Lordy, lordy, lordy. This is just way out there in the middle of nowhere, dude. Now you said keep going straight. I could have turned there, I think. Wait. Okay, is this the straight you want me to go, Hal? I'll go this way, dude. Stop confusing me. Keep to the right. You should have said, exit right, man. Could have just drove through there, probably. Let's go number one. I don't know. Oh, well, you just right through. Oh, well, here's where I think we get... Is this where we get our papers checked? Is this it? I don't know. No checkage of the paperage? I could be absolutely in the wrong spot. No joke. I'd be a terrible truck... I'd be a terrible truck driver. I know I would get lost everywhere. Dude, you told me to keep going straight. So I'm going straight. Here's my paperwork. Also, as far as racing goes, I'm not the best racer in the world. So if you're looking for championship racing quality, this is, I'm not it right now. I haven't raced in, like, a really raced anything in 20 plus years. Stop? Okay, stop. Stop this. There's nobody here, dude. Is this it? Is this where we take it? Okay, well, let's see what they what they have to say here. We're going to do, what's this look like? Sure, I guess. Well, no, let's just do this, I suppose. Nope, this. Where is this at? Right there? I just didn't want to do the other one because I didn't want to have to put it in some ridiculous place. You know how it goes. Right.
Well, let's hit the button. Excellent. How much money did we get? 31,000. Almost to level 99. So that's going to do it for me here in this episode of American Truck Sim. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you'll come back for more. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there and uh, looking forward to making content this year. And hopefully you're looking forward to seeing it. You might not be, you know, but hopefully you are. And until the next time, take care.